Hey, Superstars, tomorrow is opening day and we are excited like super, super duper excited like Christmas Eve's got nothing on today. But first, I got to take a minute to recognize all the cool stuff that March brought in. I got some awesome care packages, a video response for the beautiful Lou Rock TV and some purchases, including my very first ever STC submission. So let's get it started. Here is this month's shuffle trade. Hey, Zane is upping his game a little bit with this little info card and a business card and a Mike Newble, who could be the second coming of Gordy Howe, but I wouldn't know because I know nothing about hockey. So thanks for the Gordy Howe Jr. random stranger. The force is strong with this one. The incredible Jedi Styles sent something over. It says, saw this at my LCS and thought of you? Ah, what's better than an autographed bedside pick? I am intrigued. Oh yeah, 1961 Don Mossy autograph. Going right to the nightstand for sure. I've been looking for this one. Thank you so much, Chris. My favorite Minnesotans, Minnesotians, um, people from Minnesota sent me a little something, something. Let's see what we got. Scott, thanks for the awesome content, channel support, and friendship. Dustin and Blake. Oh, ho, ho. Look at this sweet Alvaro art Dustin made for me. That is so rad. I love it, guys. Look at that flamingo. <laughs> uh, thank you. Whoops. Almost missed this Joe Altobelli autograph. Also rad. Thanks again, fine sirs. I think I know what this is. Been seeing other guys get theirs. I'm excited. We got a fancy package. Ooh, Four Leaf drew a Phil Necro for me. This is actually a contest win, one of the Sean Tiford giveaway giveaways. 18 people entered, 18 people won. And he made a drawing for each of them, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he's making me look lazy over here, though. But I love it, Four Leaf. Super, super cool. And what the what? It's got approved green tape. And that's for my Grail project, so that's for later. A four-leaf card and a sweet Alvaro autograph. Four-leaf really hooked me up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. What's up, all you beautiful people? Lou Rock TV's got a fun contest going on. He wants to see what kind of lineup we can build out of our rookie cards and our cup cards. I've put way, way too much thought into this. And you know I had to build my lineup with guys that have all played for the Indians. So uh, I've struggled a little bit with some guys that were like better players, but other guys have more interesting rookie cards. So I put together the whole 26-man roster. Here goes. On the bench, I've got second baseman Joe Gordon, shortstop Omar Vizquel, outfielders Earl Averill and Albert Bell. My backup catcher is Jim Hegan, a little offensively challenged, but he could really handle the pitching staff. And I need a utility guy, right? So no surprise here. And of course, every imaginary baseball team needs a power forward, right? So I got to go with LeBron. I'll jump into the bullpen here. I've got the bear, Mike Garcia, Doc Gooden, and you need some lefties. So I've got Herb Score and I got to get Don Mossy in there. Then Eck gets the ball in the ninth. And the starting lineup, leading off and playing center field, Kenny Lofton. Hitting second and playing second base, Mr. Roberto Alomar. My DH, Manny being Manny. Hitting fourth, the first baseman, Mr. Jim Tomey. Uh, batting fifth and in right field, Roger Maris at third base and hitting sixth, Al Rosen. Hitting seventh and playing left, even though he was a right fielder, I've got Rocky Calavito. And then we've got Sandy Alomar Jr. catching and batting eighth. I don't really like catchers batting ninth, but I do like Lou Boudreau batting ninth and playing shortstop and managing. So I guess Lou could change the lineup if he wishes. Um, if money were no object, Tris Speaker, Napoleon Lajoie, and Shoeless Joe would be in my lineup. But you work with what you got, right? And finally, in my rotation, I'd love to have Bob Feller and Satchel Page in here, but I don't have either rookie cards, so we'll do our best. Uh, my five-man rotation has Mr. Denton Young as the ace, not too shabby at all. Then CC, uh, Addy Joss is my third starter. With pre-war, rookie cards are kind of vague because there weren't really major releases, so I'm probably cheating. I don't know. I do like my knuckleballers, so Mr. Necro is my fourth, and Burt Blylevin rounds it out as my fifth starter. I might have put Shane Bieber or Corey Kluber here, but I want to keep it limited to retired players. Um, I'm sure I'll change my mind again and again about all this, but I got to put all these cards away. So that was a lot of fun. Thanks, Lou Rock. 
A little while back, I was lucky enough to win Baseball Card Illustrated's 250 subscriber contest. And here's a nice little note from Bronco and Kevin. They're getting really close to their 316 subscriber contest too. Um, I chose the mystery envelope because I'm a man of mystery. We have a Gavin Lux Tops Finest Rookie, a Fernando Tatis Bowman's Best Rookie, and an 85 Design Lou Bob Rookie. Super cool stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Here's some of the highlights of stuff I bought in March. Mike, baseball collector, had an auction and I picked up this goofy looking Bob Lemon signed Perez Steel celebration postcard and Joe Sewell. And there's Mike. I love that. So thank you, Mike. Uh, there was one more Indian in the celebration set, but Mike didn't have that one to sell me. So I picked up the Lou Boudreaux on the eBay. Uh, and then the other day, Andy over at Nostalgic About Baseball posted a video showing that he had a couple Dennis Eckersley rookies. And I was looking for a nice slab copy. So I reached out to him and we worked out a deal. And I am thrilled to add this bad boy that you just saw in my rookie card lineup. Thank you, Andy. With 2021 out now, there's lots of new stuff to look for. Got a green Mojo Bieber, numbered to 99, and the blue to 150. Here's a T-Mac Mojo rookie, and I accidentally bought two short prints. I did not expect both sellers to accept my offers. Um, I'm all in on Francisco Lindor's replacement, Andres Jimenez. A uh, bunch of base, the 86 design Mojo short print, last year's 89 prospect card, and a Bowman Prospects autograph. He's got a terrible autograph, but this one's not too bad, I guess. The Indians' top prospect, Nolan Jones, might get a look this year. I had to get this one because I was actually at this game where they wore these jerseys designed by a young cancer patient. Blake Jameson finally did an Indian, so I picked up the Bob Feller. Now, if only Topps Project 70 would release something for my PC. Uh, here's a shiny Herb score autograph I had to have. And I saw this once before, and it sold before I could get my mitts on it, but I was quick to the trigger this time. Another one for the bedroom. We got a Don Mossy Auto Auto. That one's really neat. I may have bought too much stuff this month. Okay, look away, Jake. I had never submitted any cards for grading, but I heard SGC was raising prices, so I wanted to get this little stack in. Um, the day after I shipped these, they did raise the prices, so really good timing. I know SGC can be frustratingly tough, but they are my favorite slabs, and I'm not selling any of this stuff. Oh, and I got these back in less than two weeks, and they charged me way less than what they said they were going to, so I'm thrilled with that. Let's see what we got. This first one's going to be an Exhibits Larry Doby postcard. I guessed it would grade at a six and authentic. <laughs> Must be trimmed, I guess. Uh, not off to a great start, but that was probably the least expensive card in the bunch. Next is my 64 Philadelphia Jim Brown. I guessed five and four and a half. Not too bad. Here's a 64 top stand-up Johnny Romano. I guessed six and six. Go me. 64 top stand-up Max Alvis. I guessed seven. Nice. Those are neat looking cards. All right, my 53 top satchel page. It is very well loved. It's gotta be a one and one, and it's my one and I love it. Uh, 53 tops early win, I guess three, and I got a four, nice. That red corner throws you off. Okay, 52 tops, Bob Feller, great looking card, but way off center. I said four and I got a three. Uh, I can live with that though. Here's my 49 Bowman Lou Boudreaux. I said five and four and a half, pretty close. Looks nice in the tux. 48 Leaf Joe Gordon, which you just saw. I thought five and I got a four. Centering, I guess, maybe. Uh, 48 Hank Edwards. I said six and I got a three. Hmm. That one I can't really explain. I can't find any big flaws or anything on this one. And finally, 1948 Jim Hegan. Cool looking card. I said five and all right. I don't think I did too bad overall. And finally, not only is tomorrow opening day, it is also my two year anniversary on YouTube. And what a fantastic two years it has been. Um, I say, hey, superstars at the beginning of every video, and I really do mean it. You guys make all the effort I put into this worthwhile. And I'm having a really great time making my silly videos and I've made it I've made a ton of great friends and I want to thank all of you for the love and support you give me every day. I have nothing but gratitude and I do have something up my sleeve to celebrate. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But speaking of gratitude, I want to thank ShuffleTrades.com, Jedi Styles, Dustin and Blake, Four Leaf Cards, Baseball Card Illustrated, Baseball Collector, Nostalgic About Baseball, and be sure to check out Lou Rock TV and Bob. Let's not forget about Bob. Uh, much love, guys. See you next time.